the At that time, Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. And even now I know that whatever you ask from God, God will give you. Jesus said to him, Your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. He would remain with me, though he died, yet he shall be. Thanks to God for the gift of life. We thank Him for His words and favor. We thank Him for the life and the times of our dear sister and mother, Stella, who we shall have Alex in the name of the We thank God we have spent our lives. We thank God we have spent our lives. Thank Him for the work of the Lord. He has used that for 
But at least all our struggles, God can break through. And it is a breakthrough that we experience in life sometimes from unexpected, and that is death. It will come at a time, at an hour, at a moment you have no idea or you least expect. And that is why you should be of life. Every day I see that is the last, that is the only moment, and that is the only opportunity we have to be loving God and serving God. As children of God, therefore, we have a glorious future because God, in His goodness and generosity, wants us to share in His love and life. He wants to share His love and life with us, and that is why we are God's children. First John chapter 3, verse 2 says, We are already children of God, but what we are to be in the future has not yet been revealed. All we know is that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, because we shall see him as he really is. Again, this points to the fact that if we live for God, we ought to be like God in our everyday dealing with our brothers and sisters. We are to resemble God in the way we interact and relate with one another. We are to resemble God in the way Business transactions. Mm -hmm. We are to be like God, not only when we come to church, but in living our public life, our church life, in commitment to God and humanity. And when we live a life like that, it will be a life that is being human, not just for the self, but in obedience to the will of God. And this is where we will say that there is a gap between life. And the next life. The caterpillar, therefore, could not tell how beautiful it will become as a butterfly with a beautiful wings. The human baby would never understand what a gap there is between life in the womb and the life in the world. How could an atom recognize itself in the whole tree? So, in this Eucharist, as well as we pray for our dear mother and sister, Stella, Lucia, Alex, we can also say thanks to God for that glorious future that she is now beginning to enjoy. Because our eternal dwelling place is with God. Whatever type of body we may assume hereafter should be a life that is better than the way we are living now. And that is why the way you live your life now determines so much about your future. So we shouldn't live here and now as if that is all that matters. We should live as if there is another life. And in fact, there is another life hereafter. And we can say that of our dear sister and mother. This is Alex Dudigeli. My first contact with her. The apartment, the welcoming thing I noticed was the fact that she seemed to be a lover of music, and not just a lover of music also, but church music. And I know I knew she would be singing along with the tape, the Latin play chants. Then I saw her say, I want to let go back to the I just know because it is my Catholic tradition. I love to sing along, and sometimes even when she, you know, sometimes over the when you listen to music, even when you don't understand the rhythms of what you are saying, you don't even know the exact pronunciation of it. But however you pronounce it, it's a Sometimes I see her struggle with some of the words, but she's not bothered about what I think. She is rather bothered about singing for the Lord. I said, no, no, you see, at this time, 
the church is not so strict about you or whether they want her. We understand that you are an elderly person. You need to take your food and your medications. Then wait. Even if it is just five minutes before our arrival, you finish your meal, you will still be able to receive Jesus. And you see so much joy. And whenever she gets a new set of needs, working with her, we say, Father, all them. Let us pray together. So she's not just a lover of Christian music. She's also a lover of prayer. She believes in the power of prayer. And from my interaction with her, that has really kept her all these years living a life of prayer. So, as Christians, my dear brothers and sisters, one connecting factor between us and God remains prayer. It's a change that should always be in touch with God. We should always handle our lifestyle, our entire career on God. So God's first in everything that we do. And I can say, without doubt, with every sense of certainty that she is or she works, a woman of prayer. A woman of prayer. If she's not listening to this thing, She's there with her rosary, praying and praying and praying. And I can imagine how many decades of the rosary she would have been able to stay in the day. And I would say, what a beautiful way to spend one's own age in union with God. But I can't say that for sure for so many other elderly people. They still run and chase after the things of this world that has no eternal consequence. Rather, they still chase after what they were chasing when they were much younger, on how to make it and build estates and build more estates. But all of that, of what values are they? Loving God, serving God, preparing yourself for eternity. That is not to say as if you already condemned yourself to death or that you anticipated that you become the next minute, but that we prepare ourselves not only for businesses, for the pleasures of life, but also for God, because that is what matters the most in our lives. So as we pray for our sister today, let us remember that. She, as a child of God, as a daughter of God, has shared in her, her, her life with Christ. She shared her eternity now with whom she believed in while she was on earth. So like I would say to people, when you don't have time for God now, how do you think you want to have eternity? So you create that time now to be with God in order to be with him hereafter. Even when Christ says, if you deny me before men, I will also do what? Deny you before my Father in heaven. So when you deny me by creating all time and nothing for him, what is happening? So it is important for us, my dear brothers and sisters, to ensure that we be. And our dear sister, therefore, through the sacrament of baptism, has been the heir of God. And now she will leave this, not just in anticipation, but now in reality. She will inherit the throne and the with God. And we say the same of ourselves today that we are working for eternity. Or we are working for that which will not last. The simple way of living one's life 
is to know that the life of each and every one of us hears and acts. And that is why I say that we are safe. And none of us dies for himself alone. Whether we live or death, we belong to who? To God. So, our dear mother has lived our life the best way she can in obedience to God's commandment to affect the lives of others. Very well, very well. When we have time together talking, she said, It is important that we live a life that we touch others. But it brings me so much that so much people or so many people acquire so many things, but don't still believe that the achievement comes from God. Why is it that they leave God outside their lives? And the question she was asking me, I could not answer. And I said, I don't know. But what is important is, are you living your life as an example for others? So that you can have positive influence over other people that are doing my bit. When she wants to be, I'm doing my bit. And, and that is what is important for all of us. Let us do our bit in creating positive part and influence in the minds of many who have in front of us. And I think we have not wasted your time. Come tomorrow, pray for her and be that farewell at this time because of the impact she probably must have had on you. Maybe not directly, but also indirectly through the children of the family members. And very importantly, never forget that the soul of the righteous person, the virtuous person, is always in the hands of whom? Of God. And that is what she is said to find, the summary of our life, living a virtuous life to honor God to serve God. So, without doubt, and with every sense of humility and certainty, we believe that she is with God. And that is why we began our reflection for that beautiful hymn, It is well with my soul, because Christ himself already paid the price. She has lived for Christ, and now she is with Christ. So, in our words, we can say, It is well. My soul. What is left is for you and I. We are still on the journey. We are still on the brakes. Let us retrace our steps if we are not working with the Lord, if we are not journeying with the Lord. Consequently, something shall align here. And will God lead us forward into his kingdom? Question to ponder on. Question to reflect. To prepare his time. I take consolation in the words of Jesus to Martin and the gospel reading. I am the resurrection of Jesus. Now she will be the thing to share the resurrection of Christ. So your mother has gone home to be with the Lord. She is in a heaven that is safe, where there is no more pain, no more torment, no more agony, no fear of any success, because she already conquers them through our death, and now she is shining in the path of God for eternity. That is a lesson for us all. That should be our story, and that should be our journey of faith. May God continue to console you and uphold you, to strengthen you and fill the path that you have left behind. And we must live forever in grace in our lives. Amen. Let us rise for a prayer of the faithful.
Let us pray with faith and confidence to God and Father to praise His Son Jesus Christ from death.
especially with the most blessed virgin
this holy mass is for everyone present. Let holy communion is reserved for baptized and practicing Catholics who have prepared themselves to receive the Lord. We acknowledge in our midst our sisters and brothers of other religious denominations who have come to worship with us. We kindly request that you remain on your seats and pray along with the church. God bless us all. Amen. Amen.
Lord God, whose son led us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that, strengthened by it, our sister Stella Kulushola, Alec Kubiemi, may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and lives forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. May the bags be passed down to have the company of the collection. It is Thank you. 
this point, we we'll invite the member of the Alec Kuyemi family to address us briefly. Let the representative please come to the altar. Daddies and mommies, our friends and our families. First of all, I just want to say a couple of words. A few months ago, when the virus started, and I had the privilege to spend several months living with my mom. She used to say, well, such an Apache. Well, that day, I already have my boarding pass. We all have our boarding pass, but she was great. She said, when the Lord calls, I am great. And we joke, and in it all, she say, this is how I would like to be buried when it is time, amongst family and friends. She left very, very clear instructions as to how we should conduct the funeral. For me, I'm sure you are proud. You are amongst the family and friends that you wanted to be at your funeral. She says she doesn't want those loud parties where they dance and dance. We did not know an angel was passing, and the angel heard her prayer. This has been exactly how she wanted it. So that on that last day, the eighth day of March, when she was to close her eyes for the last time, and she smiled at each and every one of us, the family around her. And we said, Mommy, you're looking, you're glowing. What's happening? You're glowing. And we thought she was recovering. We did not know that she had seen the Lord. She had seen the angels. And indeed, she had boarded that flight. She was holding a boarding pass for. We thank God for her life. We thank God. And we're here now to thank each and every one of you for coming to attend her funeral. I'd like to thank the Royal Father, the only of his name, Baba Elite, the Blues of Jaja II, who started up this, this church. I'd like to thank our Reverend Fathers who have conducted this service and the way we keep service yesterday so beautifully. I'd like to thank all our mommies and daddies, our esteemed friends of our parents who have been with us, supporting us since our mother passed on two weeks ago. You have not left us for one second. Whether you're here physically, whether you're on Zoom abroad, you are constantly with us. We cannot thank you enough. The friends, families, in-laws, my siblings, friends, families, and in-laws, we just want to appreciate you. And I say this on behalf of the Alex Duduyemi family, on behalf of the Da Silva family, and on behalf of the Daudu family. We want to say thank you and we appreciate you all deeply. Now to the church. If you've read some of Mommy's tributes, one thing comes out very strong, deeply spiritual, very, very organized, very tidy, obsessively tidy sometimes. So when my siblings and I thought what we could give the church in honor of our mother, it was very befitting for us to give a prize to the school of the Catholic Church, Mata Ecclesias, that she so keenly supported. And as such, we're going to be giving a prize every year in the name of the Stella Olushola Alex Tuduyemi Award to the neatest boy and the neatest girl every single year for as long as we live. Our Reverend Father, 
we thank you. We appreciate you. We all grew up in this church. I attended the Church of Assumption for many years myself. We are sure you will not remain far from you. And I only left for me to pray that as we depart today to inter our mother, and we know that one day each and every one of us will go the same way, I pray that on that day, God in his infinite mercies will find it good to accept us as good and faithful servants. I pray that as we have celebrated our mother today, each and every one of us will be celebrated in the mighty name of Jesus. As you have rendered help to us, your own helpers of destiny will locate you and you will never walk alone. Thank each and, each and every one of you. We love you. We thank you. And now as for the announcements, as we leave the church now, we'll be going to inter our mother. It will be a very private ceremony with just her immediate family and her very, very close friends. Uh, as you're going out, we're going to be giving you packs um, of lunch and a gift. Thank you also for coming. Again, we love you and appreciate you. Thank you. Reverend fathers and other clergymen here present, our royal father, the old Neo Fife, Obadeye, Enito Ogumuzi, or Jaja, second of the source, Abisiu, represented Chief Oyekunle, Alex Duduyemi, Arua Siwaju of the source, and the entire Alex Duduyemi family. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, today is the day the Lord has made. It's the day the Lord has made because we are having the final rites for our beloved mother and sister, Chief Stella Ulushola Alex Duduyemi. We thank God for the life that she lived, and we thank God who has called her to eternal glory. May the name of the Lord be praised forever and ever. Amen. Going through the tributes I've been hearing and reading about her. In fact, I have not finished reading, but they have just been saying too many good things about this uh, mother, why she was on earth with us. We thank God for the good life that she lived. Stella is the Latin word for a star. And like she lived true to her name. You know, she has lived like a star here on earth, spent her life doing good. And it's weak clergy on the altar who also appreciates you know, the good times that she was so good to us. We are beneficiaries of her goodness. I know for daddy it will not be something easy when you lose someone so dear to you and someone who has been with you for years, we will pray God to console you. We pray God to grant you fortitude to bear her loss. We pray also that the gap that she may have left by her departure will be filled by God himself in your life. Sometime in August last year, I think it was August, she had her 80th birthday. And um, what a way to celebrate that last birthday. She began the celebration with communion service. And she didn't know that it was her last birthday on earth. But it was just a sign that she was getting close to her time and she was calling on God more and more. We believe that this God that she called on will not elude her now that she is gone. And we believe she will rest peacefully in the hands of our Creator, our Lord. And so, why we pray God to grant Daddy fortitude to bear the loss of Yeye Awishe of the source. We are also telling the children the way you were so close to mommy, and in fact, that 80th birthday, how you rally around her and other times to keep her company. Now that mommy is gone, daddy will need you more. And so please, be around daddy to console him, to give him strength, to give him that support that he needs. 
But on behalf of the entire parishioners of Church of Assumption, Falomo, we express our condolences. And we are saying this, the best gift we can give to someone who is gone is to remember that person in our daily prayers. The dead need our prayers more. That we will assure you, we are assuring you that we are going to remember her in our daily prayers. For God to have mercy on her and receive her soul into his kingdom. We thank the family for this prize we are giving to our college, Mata Ecclesia College. Yes, it's going to immortalize your mom, but at the same time, it's going to do a lot for that college. We are praying God to reward you for this kind of gesture and that the blessings you will get from this giving to God for his cause will bear eternal fruits in your entire family through Christ our Lord. And so we are not saying goodbye to mommy, but we are saying one day we hope to meet her in heaven and rejoice with God forever. That's our prayer. So after this small speech I'm making, we are going to have the final commendation ceremony. After the final commendation ceremony, the course will be moved out of the church gently, and then we'll go to the cemetery for the interment. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let your perpetual life shine upon her. May the soul of Stella, Ulushola, Alec, Dudu, Yemi, and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Accept our condolences. We are on page 17 of our pamphlet. Please let us rise. With faith in Jesus Christ, we reverently bring the body of our sister, Stella Olushola Alex Duduyemi, to be buried in human imperfection. Let us pray with confidence to God who gives life to all things that he will raise up this mortal body to the perfection and the company of the saints. May God give her a merciful judgment and forgive all her sins. May Christ, the Good Shepherd, lead her safely home to be at peace with God our Father. And may she be happy forever with all the saints in the presence of the eternal King. Amen. Our Father, our Father, what's in heaven? Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Your response to this invocation is, receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Respond. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Saints of God, come to her aid. Come to meet her, angels of the Lord. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. May Christ, who called you, take you to himself. May angels lead you to Abraham's side. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. 
Your response is, Lord, save your people. Please respond. Lord, save your people. By your coming as man. Lord, save your people. By your birth. Lord, save your people. By your baptism and fasting. Lord, save your people. By your suffering and cross. Lord, save your people. And by your death and burial. Lord, save your people. By your rising to a new life. Lord, save your people. And by your return in glory to the Father. Lord, save your people. By your gifts of the Holy Spirit. Lord, save your people. By your coming again in glory. Lord, save your people. Let us pray. Father, into your hands we commend thy servant, Stella, Olushola, Alex, Dudu, Yemi. We have confidence that with all those who have died in Christ, she will be raised to life on the last day and live with Christ forever. Lord, hear our prayer. Welcome our mother into paradise and help us to comfort each other with the assurance of our faith. We thank you for the blessings you gave her in this life to show your fatherly care for all of us and the fellowship which is ours with the saints in Jesus Christ. Until we all meet in Christ to be with you and our mother forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the angels conduct you into paradise. May the martyrs receive you at their coming and lead you into the holy city of Jerusalem. May the choirs of angels receive you and may you have eternal rest with Lazarus, who was formerly poor. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't want to so see while the come while the corpse is taken out of the church reverently, only the immediate family members are allowed to follow the corpse. Only the immediate family members. And then by the time they get to the exit of the church, then we can leave. And when we are leaving the church, please let us make use of the side doors to avoid cloistering choir. Ah. Uh -huh.